us would be that everybody still got jobs and that we are able to pay our people and that we were able to get salary increases. Um, and maybe it's just in times like this, which we need to remind each other um, that comparison is truly a killer of joy. Um, so do not compare yourself with anybody. Um, be grateful um, and um, let's live with an attitude of gratitude. Um, I think the comparison that's taking place um, is something that not only affects the morale, um, but it's really something that affects every individual. And I just want to bring it back to people saying, let's be grateful for the things that we do have in our lives. I don't know if you want to add to that, Jakob. I fully agree with that comment. Great. So what we then want to do today um, is to end off um, just to show you the final results on um, the holistic employee well-being. Um, I think what we are seeing here is um, that financial well-being um, is, is a real thing in, in a lot of people's um, areas. Thank you for everybody that contributed to this. Um, and a, a question I saw Zelda was also on the line, a question that we as a wellness work stream are asking ourselves is what can we do um, to provide the necessary assistance to people that are going through financial well-being, um, you know, that are deep in debt. Um, even Rams that is on the line has sent some, some um, ideas and said, Krista, how can we educate people to get out of debt? Um, and again, you know, there are things I don't think we need, we must have the, the view that our company is going to solve our financial problems because this is a worldwide um, pandemic um, that, that we have. Um, but we will look at these things and we will see what we can do to help people, to educate people. Um, and um, it's wonderful, you know, the, the thing on work-life uh, balance, the burnout, huge workload is something that also comes out with people are saying, my bucket is empty here. Um, please, again, speak to your line manager. Um, let's have discussions. I think that is the culture we want to create is don't um, feel you are drowning, but there's nobody that you can talk to. But thank you for everybody that contributed um, onto this holistic well-being, just a dipstick um, on what we have. Uh, wonderful to see that hope and faith and we see the light are the highest. May the rest also join that part. So what we want to end off today's, um, today's session with is um, if you can just go to that slide um, specifically on um, the barometer, barometer regarding uh, where we are in terms of working for AFCRI. Now, this was something I just wanted to wrap up the session with, um, to talk to you about something that I read, and it was the whole thing about, um, are people fully in? Are we part of an organization and we are in it with our hearts? Uh, or are we here because we need the money? And we truly trust that we will be in a place where our people work for AFCRI and they are in AFCRI with their whole heart. Um, and today we just want to do a barometer and say, where are you? Um, something very interesting that I'm following is they talk about the great resignation that is happening in the USA. They said about 4 million people quitted their jobs over the past two years in the USA. And if they look at the trends, there are certain trends that's coming into South Africa as well. Uh, we are also seeing how young people are leaving South Africa to go overseas. So the whole thing about resignation is something that is real within our environments. Um, but this weekend, it just dawned on me and it actually came to, to this question is, I think when people resign at a company, you know where you are. But there is nothing that costs a company more than silent resignation. That is where people are quitting emotionally. Um, I show up, but my heart is not in this anymore. Um, and this is something that is very difficult to calculate. But if we go down, there are certain reasons why people can emotionally resign from a business. And what we want to do as a business is how can we help you to get your heart back into 
if you are a silent emotional quitter, not a silent emotional quitter, did that sound right? But if you silently emotionally quit it and you are just there, um, I think there are certain things that we can do to help people because you can't waste your life uh, by working minimum eight hours a day um, in a company that you are not happy in. So the things that are coming up, um, specifically if we look at the great resignation, what are the trends? And I think COVID had a definite effect on people that are looking at what is the real things that are value um, th that we value in our lives, but it's no reason for just quitting our jobs. Um, we can see, and I've already said in South Africa, there are signs of resignation also coming through. Um, on a little picture that I also got on here is, I think there's people that can uh, silently quit because they totally burned out. They feel there's an over demand or they feel they are disrespected. And those are the things that happens to us as employees where we pull our hearts out of our workplaces and we just show up every day. And what we want to measure today, um, and again, please hear me, this is not about who is saying what. It's just give us a feel on what is happening within AFCRI. And there are a mentee that is open now that are asking us this question. Um, if you look at this honestly in terms of where you are, um, we've got still 50 people on the line. Um, just looking at the representation of 50 people. And the first one is, is your heart invested in what you are doing? And you're saying, I've got absolutely no intention to leave. I am invested in AFCRI. I'm loyal to AFCRI. Uh, I see my future in this business. The second option that you have is to say, I'm keeping my options open and I started being interested in other opportunities that exist. Um, that is the, the temptation that you have when you open LinkedIn um, and you started following certain things and the next moment something pop up and it says there's an interesting job for you. What do you do? Do you ignore it or do you say, maybe I should have a look at this? Um, and that will be the second category of people. Um, the third category of people will be somebody that says, I am actively looking for another job. My CV is in the market and I will leave the moment that I find something better. Um, just the barometer on where are we regarding that. The last one is what I'm putting up here is to say, I've quietly quitted my job. I'm here because I need the income. And that is silently quitting. Um, and if that is you, um, let us just see. Um, you know, uh, I think this is a question I'm constantly asking myself is, Krista, can you do what you do if your heart is not in it? Um, and if, if there are certain things like Jakob said in the beginning, things that happened in the past that maybe you didn't deal with and you're saying, you know, I saw what happened there and I'm here, but I'm not going to be part of that anymore. Then you will be an employee that are falling in that category. Um, so I want to show you the many results. This is what came up from what people are saying here. Um, is, I wonder if there's anybody that can guess what the results are. Um, again, there are only 17 people that participated in this. So 17 people um, that participated are saying my heart is in fully invested in what I do and I have got no intention to leave. Um, that is the ambassadors. That are people that are saying I'm here because after um, I think and dream and I think and dream the future of AFCRI. And there are people, there are two people that are saying um, I've got my options open. There's nobody that's got the CV in the market. Um, and there's one person that said I quietly quitted my job. Um, so why is this important? Why do we need to talk about these things? Um, they always say that you measure the politics in an organization not about what is being said around the boardroom table, but you can measure the health, the health of an organization on what people are saying to each other when they leave the conference table. Um, and, and this is an honest, open question, and thank you for that contribution that is still coming in here. Um, 
what we want to do with this is to get a sense where our people is. And I would love it to, to have a, um, you know, an open questionnaire like this that we can send to our employees to see where they are. Um, because what we want to do, um, if I can just take you to a specific slide, the solution that we have, if you are aware of somebody that are saying, but I'm not in that place where my heart is fully invested. We have developed a process that we call Rediscover AFCRI um, and your team yourself through the lens of our values. Um, and we had um, our first session took place last month. It was amazing. All the different businesses were represented there. And we had the opportunity to share with people what is happening in AFCRI. And I promise you after that day, people looked at AFCRI and say, wow, we are proud of being part of this organization. What also happened in the room is that that was the first time where people got to know one another from the different business units. We had people from milling there, we had people from retail, and all of a sudden in a setting, people could get to know one another and specifically what Jerry spoke about, um, they could start sharing information and say, this is what's happening uh, where we are talking to the clients. Um, an amazing opportunity and we just want to invite people. If you know about anybody that says, let's just rediscover AFCRI for who we are today. Um, please make sure that you attend one of these sessions or, or even arrange and say, come and do this for us as a group in one of the, of the um, regions. And um, then just the, the next one that I also want to highlight is if there are reasons in your environment that are making you to quit, to say, you know, I'm not going to put my heart into this because I feel bullied, I feel being unfairly treated. Um, if there's anything, Marilise Falun spoke to us about three uh, months ago about the importance of ethic in our business, please make sure that you speak up. Um, Jakob constantly say to us that respect is something that is a non-negotiable. And let's make sure um, we create the AFCRI that we want to work for. So these are just two things. And the reason for our question today on honestly, where are you in AFCRI? Um, just to say, we do have a solution. Let's make sure we get our people to rediscover who we truly are in our business. Um, I think that's the last um, slide that I had for, for today. Um, no, the last one is, how do you get your heart back into anything? I think firstly, you need to know where your heart is. And um, Brene Brown has done some amazing work and there's a free inventory that you can take. They call it a wholehearted inventory. Um, and it's saying the guidepost for wholehearted living is what do we need to let go of to cultivate more of? And that is, again, the bucket experience. You know, what is, where's the water in your own life leaking out? Um, and if you want to do this, um, I would love it if you discuss this with, uh, with, with me or with the person you report to, to say, I did this. When you do this survey, it's free. Um, Brene Brown will send you the results. Nobody but you will get that results. But it's an amazing tool for you to use just to say, this is where I am. And, and maybe, you know, I need, I've got that need for certainty, but I need to let it go. Um, and I have more trust and faith. Um, currently, I'm in comparison, but maybe I need to move over to be more creative. Um, anxiety is my lifestyle, but how can I, how can I cultivate more uh, calmness and stillness? And this is an amazing tool that um, each one of us, us can use. And the reason for this is the reason why we will constantly talk about wholehearted living and that we want our people to have their whole hearts into what they are doing is because of this picture. An aligned and unified group will be unstoppable. And alignment starts with me and you in, in aligned in who we are as human beings. Um, body, soul and spirit, there's alignment. And then we are in, in, in alignment with those we work with. Um, obviously, our relationships at home also needs to be aligned. But can you imagine what can happen if a group of people are aligned and there's a sense of unity um, in terms of the purpose and why we're doing what we are doing? Um, and Jakob 
uh, in, in our last session said to us, when I said to him, Jacob, if there's for the new financial year a, a, a stake that you want to put in the ground to say, this is what we trust for, what will it be? And Jacob said he believes in his heart that this business is destined for greatness. Um, and that's just out of our hearts today. The business are destined for greatness, but we will embrace that greatness through our alignment um, and our unity. Um, and how we talk to one another is really something that is very important. So please get your whole heart back in what you do. And if you in any way need help with that, um, we are there to help you. If you are somebody that looked at all the questions we asked you today and you say, I'm drowning, I don't even hear what you are saying here, please pre speak to your line manager, please speak to your HR business partner. You're welcome to send me an email. Uh, we've got leading within that I can help people with to stand up again on the inside. Um, and more importantly, there is a counseling center, HR arranged this for us. Um, it's a toll free number. You can you phone this number and, and they will direct you to a counselor in your area where you can actually meet up with a qualified counselor, face to face counseling sessions, which will not cost you um, a cent. Um, so please, there are help available. Do not isolate. Do not do life on your own. Make sure you fill your own bucket and do what is needed for yourself to be emotionally healthy but also to get out of debt um, if that is something that are draining you at the moment. Um, Prudence, I saw you said now, uh, it's now called presenteeism and not absenteeism. Well, that's, a, I'm always learning. Well, it's Praveen that put that up. Yeah, that's amazing. Let's, let's measure our presenteeism and not our absenteeism anymore. Um, I think that's what we tried to do. Thanks for that contribution, Praveen.